So in Logger Pro, you had these curve fit equations. They looked, they don't look like this. They look like a string of text. So you have P O T as a function of T equals A asterisk asterisk E X P, uh, and then in parentheses you got minus T asterisk C plus B. What does the asterisk mean? Yeah, so this is like calculator uh, jargon, calculator typing. Does anybody know what this EXP means? It does mean exponent, but what it really means, if you see EXP of something inside of minus T times C, this is the same, if you were to write it out by hand, E to the minus T times C power. The C in this, though, is not Coulomb's. It is not capacitance. It is merely a parameter given from the curve fit where you get value A equals something, 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 plus or minus something. Then you got value B equals something, 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 plus or minus something. And then value C equals something, plus or minus something. So, so the C represents, this C right here, represents the inverse of r times c in the model equation that's being used. So I'm going to label these all with a sub lp. Why would I be using sub lp for this? It's not long play for long play record. What would log? log yeah, logger pro. So these are the the coefficients given in the logger pro curve fit. So <laughs> 1 over c from that logger pro curve fit is the same as r times c, where r is in ohms and c is in farads. So those should match up. That's the point of this experiment. Does the resistance times the capacitance, does that match up with 1 over c being the c parameter from the curve fit? And we're going to say, how good of a fit is that? Now, when you multiply 100 kilo ohms times, what was the value of our capacitor? 10, <coughs> 10 microfarads or 10 oofs. Um, can I just multiply 100 times 10? No. No. What do I need to do? Exactly. we got to pay attention to those metric prefixes. So we have 10 times 10 to the minus 6 farads here. And so we have, this is 10 to the 5 ohms, and then the 10 times 10 to the minus 6 becomes 10 to the minus 5 farads. Do you see something canceling out nicely? And so we get, this is the same as 1 ohm times farad. Now, what you're going to find, and I have a video that explains this, is that an ohm times a farad is a second. And so you don't need to take a picture of this. This is already in OneNote. This is already being recorded right here. Um, and I'll post it as a little addendum to that playlist of videos. But I really just wanted to explain that in Logger Pro, you have these curve fits. They're written out in this calculator formatting. But that's we don't always have to write stuff that way. But the EXP notation just means E to something power. And E, again, being that very special number, and we're seeing if these charge and discharge curves match up. That's exactly.